Hi y'all, welcome back to the channel. In today's videos we're going to talk about the top 7 places you must visit if you're planning to drive the east coast of Australia, from Sydney to Melbourne or the other way around. Let's get started. The first stop in our list is Sydney, located in New South Wales. Sydney houses some of the most popular beaches in Australia and you can't begin your coastal drive without having paid a visit to Bondi and Coogee Beach. For this, I highly recommend doing the Bondi to Coogee coastal walk to enjoy the beautiful coastline surrounding Sydney. Now, if you like surfing or just enjoying a delicious meal by the water, I suggest taking a ferry and visiting Manly Beach and Watson's Bay. Manly is one of the most famous beaches in Australia along with Bondi and Watson's Bay is an amazing spot for enjoying stunning views of the city and having some of the best fish and chips in the area. Our next destination is Wollongong, a beautiful coastline town only a 90 minute drive from Sydney. The best way to get to Wollongong is to drive through the Sea Cliff Bridge along the Grand Pacific Drive. This bridge offers views of the New South Wales coastline that won't disappoint. And once in Wollongong, I highly recommend joining the locals and spending a day walking or cycling along its coastal tracks or having a swim at some of the town's beautiful, amazing beaches. Our next coastal stop is Jarvis Bay. Jarvis Bay is only an hour and a half drive from Wollongong and less than three hours from Sydney. This beautiful area is located in the Shoalhaven region, south coast of New South Wales. And if you're a beach lover, Jarvis Bay won't disappoint. I recommend first getting to Kararong, a beautiful seaside town full of white sand beaches and natural rock pools. If you like swimming or snorkeling in pristine clear waters, this is definitely your place. You can also enjoy a picnic by the water or go for a relaxing walk along the coast. Jarvis Bay is also home to Jarvis Bay National Park and the Buduri National Park, wilderness areas full of natural wonders and wildlife. And don't forget to visit Green Patch Beach at the Buduri National Park. Some say this beach has one of the widest sand in Australia. Naruma. After enjoying the beautiful wonders of Jarvis Bay, you need to head to Naruma. This is one of the most beautiful towns I've seen so far in Australia. I recommend staying at one of the caravan parks or campgrounds, overlooking the town's pristine blue lake waters and exploring the stunning beaches this coastal town has to offer. Naruma is our last stop in New South Wales before entering Victoria. However, if you have time or want to make a quick stop in one more town, I recommend a brief visit to Marimola and Eden, two beautiful seaside towns closer to the border between New South Wales and Victoria. Malakuda. Our next coastal stop is Malakuda, a town located on the border of New South Wales and Victoria. We discovered this little town by chance, and since then we've fallen in love with it. We keep coming back to Malakuda every year for water activities, stunning sunsets and relaxing walks and rides in nature. Even though this beautiful town was heavily affected by the 2019 summer bushfires, Nothing has stopped it from thriving and becoming one of the best places to visit in the Australian East Coast. And if you like exploring the outdoors, your best bet is to hire a bike and cycle along the town's coastal tracks. For water and beach activities, I suggest getting to some of the beautiful beaches the town has to offer, such as Square Beach or Secret Beach. Wilson's Brom. Our next stop in the list is Wilson's Promontory Park, or Wilson's Brom for the locals. This coastal wilderness area is located in the southeast peninsula of Melbourne. Wilson's Brom is famous for its bushland tracks and scenic trails, native wildlife and plants, as well as pristine beaches. I can say without a doubt that Wilson's Brom is one of my favorite places in the world. This national park offers a world of nature activities and hikes for outdoor and beach lovers. For accommodation, you can stay at the park's campgrounds or temporary cabins. However, you'll have to make sure you book your stay in advance, since this is a very popular area amongst the locals. If you want to know more about Wilson's Brom, check out my next video, where I show you what it's like to do an overnight hike in this amazing wilderness area. Mornington Peninsula.
Our last stop in this list is Mornington Peninsula, a beautiful coastal area located in the southeastern part of Melbourne, only an hour drive from Melbourne CBD. Mornington Peninsula is home to Melbourne's most popular wineries and beautiful coastline, including Cape Shank, Point Nepean National Park and Sandy Bay beaches. Mornington is also known for its iconic, colourful bathing boxes along the coast. These bathing boxes function as a beach shed for the locals who own them and have become a major tourist attraction amongst overseas visitors. As you can see, whether you like wild surfing beaches, relaxing by the bay, wilderness and nature, or just visiting beautiful wineries, Australia's East Coast has it all and won't disappoint. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.